I'm at Taronga, Western Plains Zoo at Dubbo, with the male falcon um, Garama, who is about to be uh, examined by vets after having had some anaesthetic applied. So they're doing the, the uh, anaesthetic at the moment, are they? Um, so it's completely anaesthetized. A little mask over its beak is what is keeping it asleep now. Um, it's a mass of fluorine gas, so it attaches to the red blood cells, as I understand. So as long as they're breathing it in, they're asleep, and then as soon as you switch the gas off, they start to move uh, again. So it's yeah. a very safe and... Yes, that's the problem we're facing with our other little peregrine. So they're the taping moment. him down? Yes. So he doesn't wriggle? That's right. And then for the x-ray? Mm -hmm. Yep, and it also means they can get the maximum sort of view of all the, the bits and bobs um, with one x-ray. Oh, poor wee thing, is it? <laughs> yes, the, the tape they use is feather set. I'm talking with the receptionist, Emma. And the vets are Dr. Rebecca Roby, Dr. Catherine Binns, and vet nurse Amy Bartlett. I'm standing outside the Wildlife Hospital in Taronga, Western Plains Zoo, where the two vets are having a look at Garama, um, and the treatment room is actually uh, has large glass windows all round, so you can. Uh, well, the me members of the public or anyone else can have a look and see what's going on. Apparently yesterday... Alright, so... I'm not sure, Gina, can you tell me what they're doing now? Um, I'm guessing they found something, and so they're just getting extra opinions on what it could be. Okay. We also have another vet and a vet student coming in. Probably as well, he's, he's knocked out, isn't he? Mm. He's panicking so, a bit. Dr. Beth Brody, she's um, been with Tay for many, many years. And then Martina, this is her last placement for her studies to become a vet. Uh, in this final video, you can see the x ray, which uh, shows the uh, curvature of the spine, birth deformity, uh, which led the uh, vets to recommend that he be euthanized.